Congratulations on your new 360 camera, the 360 Penguin. I'm going to give you a little bit of information as to what you should expect when you open the box for the first time. Of course, you're going to have your 360 Penguin camera. Notice on the back of the box is a lot of great information about what this little guy can do and all of its abilities. We provide you with a protective bag. This has a couple uses to, one, protect your camera when you take it places and to cleanse the lenses before shooting. We also provide a flexible tripod. This guy is great for going anywhere because he can wrap around a tree branch, fence post, railing, or he can be used on flat surfaces as a tabletop tripod. We include a USB-C cable that allows you to constantly power your camera or charge it. This can be used either way. We give you a cleansing cloth for the lenses. We give you an informational packet or a user's guide to get you started and answer any questions you might have about the 360 Penguin. And last but not least, we give you a warranty card. This warranty card is very, very important. Fill it out as soon as you get your 360 Penguin. It gives you a year warranty coverage. And also, our address is on the back here. We also keep you in the loop as to any updates that you might need to know about for your camera to work to its potential. Now that we've gone over everything that's in the box, let me get started on what this little guy can do. We've been telling everybody that the 360 Penguin is a one button system and we mean it. One button on the front of the camera does so many things and has so many functions. For instance, if you just press and hold, the 360 Penguin powers on. You will see a green light when it's powered on and fully charged. If you see a blue light, that means that it has 50% charge or less. If you see a red light, make sure you charge your penguin because that means you have about 10% battery or less. And never update your firmware unless you are at least in the blue or the green. To charge your 360 penguin, take the charging cable we gave you and notice that on the bottom of the camera is a charging port and also the SD card slot. This is where you are going to hook up your USB-C cable to charge your 360 camera. If you look on the side of your penguin, you'll notice that there's a green light next to a movie camera icon. This means that you are all ready to shoot 360 video. Hit the front button once. This starts the 360 video filming process. You'll know you're filming by a blinking green light on the side next to the movie camera icon. To halt this video, all you have to do is press that front button again. You'll notice that the filming stopped. If you'd like to change to 360 photo mode, all you have to do is press that front button really fast twice. This switches out of movie mode and into 360 photo mode. Anytime you want to take a 360 photo, just hit that front button again. You will hear a beep and you will see the light flash on the side once again. That means you just took a 360 photo. To power off, just hold that button for three seconds until it beeps twice and your penguin is now powered off. Notice on the side of your camera is also the microphone. Notice underneath the movie camera icon is a reset button. You can use a pen, push it in if you find that your camera should ever freeze up. Well, that's the 360 Penguin, everything that's included in the box, and how you can start shooting in full 360 right when you get the camera. I hope you guys have a good time. Let us know if you need any help. In the meantime, check out our training page as we have a lot of cool videos to help you get started and let you know about all the cool accessories out there for the 360 Penguin that we didn't mention in this video. Happy shooting!